Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a Word document on your Jimdo ePortfolio. You can see right here that I have this file called This is an Example. Uh, this file is saved as a Word document. I created it in Word and I'm going to pull it up. Now, something to remember about Jimdo is that you cannot save Word documents to Jimdo. It's a file format that Jimdo doesn't recognize. So we're going to do two different things. One is that we are going to copy and paste the text directly into our Jimdo site so our teacher can see it right when they visit the page. And we're also going to save this document as a PDF so that we can have a downloadable document on our Jimdo ePortfolio. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to select all of the text in my document. I'm going to right click and copy it. I'll go back to my Jimdo site. I created a mock-up English 1010 page and beneath this line I'm going to hit add element, add text box. I'm going to click in this box, right click and paste and it will put all of my text in this document. And I'll hit save, as always. Now what I'm going to do is beneath all of my text, I need to put a downloadable document. So you'll click on Add Element, click on Additional Elements, and click on File Download. I recommend having both the text of your essay and also a downloadable document. Have both for your teacher to see. Now as you can see right here, as I said before, that you'll notice that Word documents are not a recognizable files, but PDFs are. So we're going to go back to our Word document. I'll open this back up. We're going to go over here to File on Word Processor. Click on that. Click on Save As and I will go to Format, drop down menu, and click on PDF, and click on Save. This document will now save. I'll pull it into the window. It says this is an example.pdf. This file can now be recognized by Jimdo. So we'll go back to our ePortfolio. We'll click on Upload. And I have this saved to my desktop. This, this is an example PDF. I'll click on that, click Open, and it will save it to my ePortfolio. And I will click on Save, or I can add a description or title if I would like. And that is how you put a text document and a downloadable file document on your Jimdo ePortfolio. Your teacher will probably require you to put a reflection on this page, I would recommend just putting that in a text box by hitting Add Element Text and putting your reflection in this box. But that is all for putting a Word document in your Jimdo ePortfolio. I will see you all in the next video.